What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare and I want to make sure that everyone out there knew if you are getting this game a Activision or Call of Duty account is required to play and the reason for this is that you have to have this active for cross play and for cross progression. So if you do not have an account or Activision or Call of Duty account you will not be allowed to play so you need to make sure that you go ahead and have all that stuff set up so you're ready to go once the game is released. Now, if you played the alpha, you played the beta, you're already set. You don't have to worry about going back in or anything like that. But if you do not play the alpha, you do not play the beta, um, you know you haven't played COD in several years, you need to make sure that you have an account. I've had an account for a long, long time, but I did have to go in and reset my password because it was logged out and I could not remember what the password was. So you need to make sure if you're not you know, certain if you have an account or not, I would just go ahead and recommend you log logging into Activision and making sure everything's ready to go. That way, once the game is released, you won't have to be fooling with this and you can go ahead and just start playing. I will link all this information down in the description below from Activision support in case you need to check it out after you watch this video. But all you're going to do is log into the website. Then you're going to create, you know, of course, your name for the website, you know, your, the name for your Call of Duty account. And then it's going to prompt you to uh, kind of identify what platform you play on, whether it be PC, Xbox or PS4. Once that is linked, you're all set and ready to go. You can log in. You can see all the information there. So that is why this is pretty much required. It's linking everybody's gamer tags, everybody's platforms together. So cross play and cross progression will be available. And once you have done that, you also will have the option to change your uh, kind of identity or your name uh, on, the, on the Call of Duty account. So you can change your display name. During the beta, this was available on the website. They say it's going to be available in game, so you don't have to go to the website to do this. But in case you don't want to use your, you know, your normal gamer tag on Xbox, PC, or PS4, you can use your display name from your Activision Call of Duty account if you would prefer. Some people were doing this during the beta. I did it myself. I didn't even realize that I had done it on the website, but I had. And so I just used that name that's on there instead of the game, you know, the name that I use on PlayStation. But whichever you prefer, you have the option to do that as well. And it, it explains how to change that display name, you know, just through your kind of editing your basic info within your Call of Duty Activision account. But I just want to make sure that everybody out there knew if you're getting this game, you will have to have that Call of Duty Activision account uh, active. If you do not, you will be prompted to make one once the game is ready to go and you sign in and log in. It'll tell you you need one before you can play. So. If you're not sure if you have one, go ahead and get that all ready to go. So when once the game is live, you can just hop in and play and not have to worry with this. Anyway, guys, I hope this helped you out. Of course, if you liked the video, make sure you hit the like. If you have the time, make sure you click that share button. It always helps the channel out when everybody can share these videos. Of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Click that bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.